and welcome to Wood Recognition Wednesdays with Wonky Workshop. This is a new series that I'm going to be releasing hopefully fortnightly on identifying timbers, in particular hardwoods. And this week we're going to start with ash. If this was the piece of timber still growing in the tree, then the roots of the tree would be down here the um, head of the tree would be at the top here. So this is a cross section through the tree. Uh, I've got a very nice block of it here. And you can see the changes in the grain here. And what we're actually talking about here is cell structure. I'm not gonna go too deeply into that, but there's a very good book called Understanding Wood by I think Richard Broadley. I'll put a link to it in the comments, which goes really into the scientific elements of right the way down to cell structure and the changes in it and why, how you can understand wood that way. So this is your, your front section, the, the face that you would see. This is what you would call sort of side grain. Uh, so you can see here the straight lines down there, which are port, part of the annular rings that you would expect to see when you were counting rings. And then that there is your top section. So you can just see these curves starting to come in and these changes. And these little wiggles here are probably going out towards where there might well have been a branch at some point. If I flip it up the other way, you can see how it's mirrored on the other side of the piece. So, how do we recognize this piece of timber then in comparison to some others such as oak? Well, a lot of it's to do with the closeness and tightness of the grain structure. So if we can get a piece of oak in here, first thing to notice is change in color. Fraxinus excelsior, the common ash, is quite a pale timber. It's not as pale or as white as sycamore or maple, but it is certainly one of the paler timbers. Oak next to it is kind of, obviously it will vary from tree to tree, but it's got this browner color creeping in there. And as you've put the two next to each other, you can see they're quite different. The second thing to be aware of, are these kind of lines here, which are the, the slices through the cell structure of the actual plant and they are still here and present in the oak but they can be a lot more subtle if you look at the the grain on the oak here as it's going down and mostly from the way this is cut but you've got these closer straight dark lines as well as these wider shapes which are not present in the ash if we look at the end grain you can see quite wide bands of it in this tree here whereas in the oak they are much tighter together and you also get these sort of rays coming off to the one side. These speckles here are quite indicative of oak and are clearly not present or not as visible in the ash. Again, if we look at side grain, you compare the two there, you've got these clear straight lines on the ash, whereas on the oak you've got these kind of little divots that are quite present when you machine in it there. So it's easier to identify when you've got a piece of wood that's been planed and sanded all the way round. But for instance, on the oak here, that's a rough sawn face. So you've got to know your timber much more. And to be honest with you, the best way of getting into timber identification and really knowing the difference is by working with the timbers. We've spoken a little bit about the color. We've spoken a bit about the grain structure. Uh, we're now going to talk a little bit about the smell. So over to our dendro aromatist. Ah, yes. Good color. Fairly fresh. You can tell because it's, it's rather pungent. That will mellow with age. Yes, if this is this is freshly worked, you wouldn't like the smell too much at all. It could get to you after a while, but very distinctive. Very distinctive. Very difficult to describe. 
I suggest you cut some yourself and find out. So what's Ash like to work with? Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed my video and it's helped you to identify Ash and please let me know in the comments whether it was useful or if there was more information that you would need. I'm going to be giving away this piece of Ash, but only if you use the code that you saw in the video and go to my Instagram page, find the post of the picture of that piece of Ash put your name on there or tag a friend and then send me a direct message. Don't put the code in the comments, send me the code directly to me in the message and I will enter your name onto the list and you could win the piece of ash that I will ship out to you at my own cost. Thank you very much for watching. Please post a comment below if you have got a specific timber you want help identifying or send me a message via Instagram. Happy to chat about timber anytime. time.